How to change the motor on a GSSR 10.2 Li injection. First you have to remove these eight screws that are just being shown here. So it's quite an easy job really. This drill, the motor just stopped functioning. It's like a damage to the winding. Once you've removed all of the eight screws, you can then remove the battery, which you should have done at the start. And in the battery well, there's a small clip, horseshoe clip, which does come out quite easily. Just watch you don't flick it everywhere. So once that's out, you can open the casing. That's the speed selector, first and high and low and that hooks into this tiny little wire lever and that fits into the very end of the selector button I mean it's quite easy and straightforward to disassemble you don't want to really take the whole thing apart um, you just want to separate the pinion and the planetary gearbox in which you can see the planetary gears there so then just remove the leads from the motor, they clip off quite easily, with very little effort. Now for the replacement motor, so the replacement motor didn't come with the pinion gear, so to remove the pinion gear from your old motor, um, you need to knock it forward with this one because there was so little space between the motor housing and the pinion gear. Now there's at least a bit of a gap there, um, you do need to heat them. So just give it a bit of time being heated. So it's just a bit of grease burning off the pinion gear there. Just two scr screwdrivers on the back of the pinion gear is easy enough to do this. be careful because otherwise this will happen which is a nuisance but I found it so just push by hand onto the end then using a vise and a five millimeter quarter inch socket I'm just going to press fit the pinion gear back onto the new motor So with the pinion gear on the motor just to reassemble everything <coughs> which is quite straightforward just connect up the leads positive to positive negative to negative they are marked on the motors uh, now to put the planetary gearbox back on there's some little notches in the case which do have to line up which you will see on the bottom and the back of the motor there you can see them as well now it's just uh, screwing on the case, screwing together the casing. Horseshoe clip back in. Bosch battery. And it works. 